Hello everyone and welcome to Moose Now. My name is Mark Mason. And my name is Sean O'Malley. Welcome back from spring break. We are back bringing the action, sharing with you upcoming events on campus, weather reports, and many more fun segments. Now let's get to today's episode. Monday afternoon, author Jane Wong visited campus and spoke about her book, How to Not Be Afraid. It was a small gathering with lively, a lively discussion about literature and poetry. In her book, she talks about how dealing with trauma and uh, how people effectively cope with it. Just this afternoon, Katie Peltz led the sensory tour in Hislop Auditorium. Taking place was fun and relaxing activities that were themed around the five senses, those being touch, taste, smell, hearing, and seeing. There was Play-Doh, candy, and even Orbeez. The fan favorite, though, was the therapeutic obstacle course that involved stretching, saying hi to a person you never met, and silly things just to break the ice. The whole purpose of the event was to help students de-stress as we are coming to the end of the school year, and all credit goes to the creator, Matty Frankovic. Do you enjoy playing pool? If that's the case, you are in for a real treat. The residence assistants are hosting a pool tournament, and depending on the amount of people that come, it will either be a one-on-one -on -one or a 2v2. Everyone who registers will be given a prize. The, tourna the tournament will be held in North Hall in the lounge on March 22nd from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Each pool game has its own name, such as 8-ball pool, black ball, 9-ball, and 10-ball. This will be a wonderful event, so come on down and enjoy the fun. The Utica football team and the university's programming board are coming together for a great cause. Utica University is joining more than 160 football and sports teams from schools all around the country to find potential blood and stem cells for marrow donors. Tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., you can head over to the Strebel Lounge and painlessly find out if you are a match with a simple cheek swab. While you're down there to see if you can be a potential match, you can also stuff a moose. Who doesn't want to stuff a moose? And so head down and get in the game and save a life. The Jackson Lunch Hour series returns tomorrow and will be featuring a performance by the Society for New Music. The performance will feature Gregory Wood on cello, Noemi Miloradovic and Jonathan Huang on violin, William Ford Smith on viola, and Sar Shalom Strong on piano. The Lunch Hour series will be in person tomorrow in the Library Concourse from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. and will also be aired on the college radio station WPNR. Utica University strives to uphold the value of diversity, equity, and inclusion. And tomorrow, the university will be honoring those who dedicate themselves to creating an inclusive campus environment. Come join the DEI Collaborative in attending the ex Excellence in, in Fostering Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Awards Banquet. This ceremony will take place tomorrow from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. in the Library Concourse, where there will also be entertainment and a buffet of cultural foods. Pre-registration is, requi is required, so if you plan to attend in person or virtual, head over to register at BioHub. Hey, Sean, have you ever had the craving for breakfast, but then you realize it's 6 p.m. and you can only get dinner in the dining hall? I have. Well, for this one night only, you can finally satisfy those cravings with the RAs of North Hall. If you are running to your night class or you want to stay and chat with friends, both options will be available. Enjoy your classic breakfast meal Wednesday night in the North Hall Lounge during any time between 6 and 7. I'm a bit jealous. It all sounds so yummy. Do you feel like, you're, do you feel like you lack your leadership skills or that you want to improve on them? The Slice Office will be hosting a Leadership 101, which is a series of workshops to help students improve their skills for leadership positions. For the first workshop, their focus is going to be introducing you to different leadership styles. Some of the topics they'll be talking about include diversity and inclusion, positional versus ambition, and values and culture influence. These leadership workshops will be every Thursday beginning March 24th from 1 to 2 p.m. in Hubbard Hall 212. Come and learn your basic leadership style and improve your own leadership skills to help you in the future. The spring weather is looking better than better. What, uh, what's the forecast for this week, Corinne? That's right guys, after the many weeks we've been counting down, it is finally here. Spring has sprung, but as they always say, in like a lion, out like a lamb. Let's see what this week has to offer. On this Tuesday, it is very sunny outside and warm. We will have a high of 46, a low of 25. Wednesday will be very cloudy with a high of 44 and a low of 36. Fun fact, it is also World Meteorology Day. 
So don't forget to tweet your favorite meteorologist and let them know they are appreciated. Thursday calls for rain. We have a high of 50 and a low of 41. Friday, we will be getting the leftover rain. We will have a high of 51 and a low of 37. Heading into the weekend, Saturday, we will have a high of 45 and a low of 29. I'm sad to, to bring you this news, but Sunday, we will be seeing light flurries of snow with a high of 33, a low of 19. As I said, in like a lion, Monday, the sun is back to bring us happiness after the snow. We will have a high of 34 and a low of 22. As always, that's the weather I'm bringing you for this week. Warmer weather means more activities. Let's head back to the events to see what else is happening. Thank you, Corinne. This week, the School of Arts and Sciences will be hosting a film screen of Utica, The Last Refugee. This film documents refugees arriving in the Utica area and how they adjust to their new life with the help of local refugee center in downtown Utica. Following the film, there will be a Q&A session with co-producer and Utica University professor David Chinatri and one of the former refugees featured in the film, Kadiatu Dharami. This event will take place this Thursday in the McFarland Auditorium from 7 to 10 p.m. Does the spring weather make you feel motivated to start improving your body image, but you can't give up those donuts? The, weight, the weightlifting club is ready to help you achieve your new goals. Call your numbers and pull your lift. All students are encouraged to attend on Thursday night, March 24th. A special offer is available to the first 30 to RSVP, where you can receive a signature donuts and deadlifts kit packed full of donuts and other cool prizes. The event is scheduled to start at 7 p.m. in none other than the Kunath Fitness Center right inside the Athletics Building. This event is open to all students. Those interested can RSVP by emailing Kellen Lounsbury at kblounsb at utica.edu. With the nice weather slowly making its way back into our lives, I know you're all dying to go outside. A perfect way to enjoy the good weather is a trip down to Howe Cabin. The Outdoor Club has given students an opportunity to join them on a guided tour through Howe's Cavern. This guided tour will allow you to explore the cave for 90 minutes and enjoy an underground boat ride through the cave. I can't think of a better way to start off the good weather than with a trip. And you can join the Outdoors Club on March 26th at 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. For more information on location and transportation status, you can go to PioHub or contact the head of the club, Jordan Bucci Mooney. Have you ever contemplated being nominated for an Academy Award? I'm certain I have. You're in luck though. The Academy Awards, often known as the Oscars, are given in the film industry for artistic and technical achievement. They are often regarded as the most prestigious and important awards in the global entertainment industry. The 94th Academy Awards will be held in the PV Community Building on March 27th from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Hosted by resident assistants, will one or more of your favorite actors, actresses, or films be honored? You'll have to keep an eye out and find out. This is your last chance. Our game show is coming up fast. Are you interested in a night full of fun? Be a contestant on our show. Applicants have been extended until Wednesday. If you are interested, email uctv at utica.edu. Contestants can join, up, uh, join us on Friday, March 25th at 3 p.m. to face off, in their uh, face off in their competitors and a chance to win money towards Utica swag. Bring your friend and make your team effort to win. Can't make it at the time? Tune into our YouTube channel right here, Saturday the 26th at noon. The perfect video to watch during your lunch hour. And don't laugh too hard, this one is the best one yet. And that's all the news we have for you this week. To stay up to date with all that's going on around campus, check PioHub frequently, as well as the daily morning mention emails. Connect with our community. You can also find current events happening on campus on our Instagram stories at Utica UTV. Have an event you would like featured? Don't be shy to slide into those DMs or contact our studio right on our website, uticautv.org. And until next time, don't forget to... Fear, fear the, the moose. moose.